video today I'm going to be comparing the Man Called Ove slash Man Called Auto franchise. There's this book that came out at some point. I don't remember exactly when off the top of my head. The book is called A Man Called Ove. It's Swedish. There's this 2015 Swedish movie called A Man Called Ove that came out. And then 2022, this new film was released, which has a title of A Man Called Ove. Auto rather than a man called Ove. This new version of the story ha has Tom Hanks playing the main character. I actually ended up seeing this one in theaters with my mom and two different friends of mine. We all really enjoyed it. When it comes to Greece, that's the other franchise I'm going to be looking at in this video. I've seen the original Greece before, the musical. I've not watched Grease 2, which is definitely not as well received as that original film. First of all, when you look at highest Rotten Tomatoes score for each franchise, in the case of the auto franchise, high score is a 91% for the 2015 film A Man Called Ove. With Grease, the highest score is a 66% for the original film. The Ove franchise wins in this case. Then when you look at lowest score for each franchise, Grease 2 only has a 35%, whereas the 2022 film A Man Called Auto has a 69%, so Ove wins this round again. Then when you look at average score, the Auto franchise has an average of 80, whereas Grease has an average score of 50, so Auto wins again. Then when you look at gap between lowest and highest score, in the case of the auto franchise, you got a gap of 22 between lowest and highest. With Greece, you have a gap of 31 between lowest and the highest. So gap's a bit smaller for the auto franchise, so it wins again. Meaning the auto franchise is already going to win this debate regardless of my personal opinion. But let's look at a personal opinion right now. Which franchise do I prefer? This is an interesting one, because in each case, I've only seen one of the movies, and I would say Grease, as well as A Man Called Otto, are both movies that I enjoy. I don't think that one of these two movies is substantially weaker than the other one. I enjoy them both, so really it just comes down to a question of preference. So, a Man Called Otto is a movie that I have more... Well, I have more nostalgia for it in the sense that I saw it in theaters. The first time I watched Grease was quite a good amount of time ago. I can't remember exactly when it is I watched it for the first time, but it certainly was before I watched A Man Called Otto. So in that sense, Grease is more nostalgic for me. A Man Called Otto has more emotion to it because the story is about this guy who lost his wife tragically, and thus he now doesn't think that his life holds any meaning, purpose, or value any longer. He thinks that I have nothing left to live for, so why even bother to keep, keep going? And thus we see early on in the movie, he's trying to end his life. But then he actually, throughout the course of the movie, gains something to live for. When these people come into his life and just keep showing him that they care. Even when this guy, out of his own insecurity, tries to push them away, they don't abandon him, they don't give up on him, they keep being there for Otto. We see at the beginning of the movie he's rather grouchy, he's pretty cranky, but we realize that's really a result of his own pain. That, that he thinks, I don't have any life without my wife. She was everything to me. I lost her, and thus I have no, I have nothing left to live for anymore. But then these neighbors show that they're really good people because they keep doing things to help Otto out. They keep being there for him, help him to see that you actually do have a purpose. You have something to live for. Your wife would not have wanted you to be sad. She would have wanted you to be happy, to keep on living. And even though Otto does end up dying at the end of the movie because of sickness, he actually goes out on a note of peace, not bitterness, not contempt, because he derives comfort from knowing that I am making sure that these people which I now care about 
are actually going to survive. They're going to get through this. They're going to get through the grief of losing me because I'm leaving all this stuff to them. And so I actually am not going out as a bitter, lonely old man that was just waiting out the clock. No, no, I gained something to live for, something that will give me solace when my time is up. And with Greece, it doesn't have zero emotion, I would say, but certainly not the same level of emotion as a man called Otto. In this case, really, it's about a guy and a girl who basically had a summer fling, and then they both go back to school, and the girl's thinking that her name's Olivia, I'm pretty sure. She's thinking that this guy still remembers her, that things are going to continue between the two of them, but then because of him wanting to fit in with these other people, with his friends, he pretends like he doesn't remember her. But then the two of them are together by the end of the movie. I think the movie looks good. The songs are entertaining. The characters are engaging. I like the story here. So hmm, which movie do I like more? Um, I could really go either way in this case, honestly. I, I would just... I'm going to pick one. It's not in any way slight against the other movie. Um, I'll say that uh, I prefer a man called Otto. I, just because, um, well, that one actually has both humorous moments as well as a lot of emotion to it. Uh, Grease is more of an entertaining, fun musical. It doesn't have as much deep emotion to it. I mean, that does make it a bit more rewatchable i'll say but a man called auto was really well done tom hanks gave a great performance so i'm gonna choose a man called auto but that's nothing against greece whatsoever that'll be it for this video